Hey, my name is Kevin. I'm from Peoria, Arizona, and I want to show you my home CrossFit gym. John Tuatelli got me into this uh, part-time about four years ago, and I've uh, been doing it once a week and then upped it twice a week, and now we're currently at uh, four to five days a week. And I wanted to show you our, our gym that we built little by little here. So um, first of all, here's our old, our old uh, pull-up bar. And uh, here's our shop mascot here, the buffalo. He keeps kind of an eye on things for us. But um, we've got our, our old pull-up bar that we used to use here. And building this prior to doing CrossFit, I thought it would serve as everything from a squat rack to weight holding. And you know, little did I know what I was getting into here. But uh, live and learn. And uh, it's for sale if anybody out there wants to buy it. Um, but here was our old original, our original uh, pull-up bar. We've got our... Uh, squat rack that we can pull outside of there. I've got two GHD machines. Uh, one of these guys I bought from the uh, the games from the home garage gym, and then I've got the old original uh, one right there. And uh, they're both pretty heavy duty. You got the old uh, puke bucket there with uh, pukey the clown. Make sure uh, he's good. Um, we've got four rowing machines, uh, two of the newer style ones, and then two that I put up underneath the quads there. Uh, they work out really well. A um, couple of weights here. Some old ones I just haven't parted with. I'm not sure why. Uh, being a landscaper, we use the sprinkler boxes as part of our box jumps. Got a weight, weight racks here. Some guys with candy asses. We put uh, the uh, pads there. Got the sit-up pads in there, ab mats. We've got some homemade rings here that I made out of some steel and used that heater right there and heated the steel up and bent some rings in there. They don't work all that good, but here's our new, uh, we got some medicine balls here and our new pull-up rack. You can see we've uh, got that in there and that works out really well. Hang our rings from that and some rubber bands. Eagle Claw, a couple of the guys like those better than regular pull-ups. Bumper plates, got some 10s and 25s and 45s. Some more of the medicine balls. Uh, a few of the kettlebells, the belt with a chain on it. Um, some old scrap pipe we use for stretching in. Some of our goals and wads that we've done. Do the daily wad posted up in here. Um, Got the TV in case we want to watch some, uh, someone show us how to do ab killer exercises or something like that. So we got that. Um, we can sit down and relax. Uh, of course, you got the CrossFit journal right there. You got to have that. And uh, of course, you got to have the urinal too. That's a must in a garage. So we got that right there. Make sure the old hand sanitizer next to it. Um, you also got to have. We got our timer that we use here, and uh, we can record everything. And uh, my sticker there, got our fridge here. We can open and keep all our adult beverages in there for uh, after the workout. Rubber mats, and uh, you can see those go out through the bottom with the Olympic platform in the middle there. Three foot, not a meter. All the rubber bands hanging up there. And uh, out the back door here, holy cow, is it bright out. We got our ropes go up into the, oh, and our other mascot right there. <coughs> yes, sir. He's saying hi to you guys. <coughs> now, you know what he's saying there, <coughs> Pat? <coughs> yeah, I'll tell you, Pat Sherwood, what he's telling you is you need to keep your garage clean. If you got any pride, you got to keep your garage clean. That's what he's telling you. So I just translated it for you. Um, also out here, I've got our our uh, our three box jumps here. They're palm trees. Being a landscaper, again, we cut these down and real solid, real nice, uh, uh, solid, solid box jumps. And uh, then I hung a couple of rings, also a pair of rings off the basketball, so I could do muscle ups and uh, progressions and things like that. Get a little higher place to hang them there, so. I hung those with some rope and, and uh, cable. So um, anyway, I just want to give you a tour of, uh, of our version of uh, home CrossFit and show you how we do it here in uh, west side of Phoenix.